Only 7% of women in India are entrepreneurs and that were more so out of compulsion rather than aspiration. Often we have heard, educate a man, educate him. But if you educate a woman, you educate a generation. A woman is the first coach for any being. In this video, we will discuss the five power points why women must take the plunge of entrepreneurship. The challenges they face in this plunge and the wonder ways to smoothen this journey. Hi, I'm Prachi Garbhudachare. I have been instrumental in setting up multiple businesses and been serving as a business head for luxury brands. I've had a fair share of failures and successes and here I am to help you smoothen your journey of entrepreneurship as much as I can. Five power points that make it aspirational for women to take the plunge of entrepreneurship. First being flexible working hours with the multifaceted responsibilities that we women have. It makes it very lucrative for us to do our own businesses where we can have the flexibility of our working hours unlike a job where the timelines are very stringent and demanding on us. And you know we don't have to live with the guilt of actually leaving behind our children and our families at the crucial hours when they need us. The next point that makes it truly aspirational to take up entrepreneurship for any woman is personal development and financial independence. Entrepreneurship actually gives us the opportunity to explore the purpose of our life and work around it, grow our intellect and ultimately be financially independent with the satisfaction to our inner core. The third point being the improved economical status of the family. With financial independence, it is not just the financial economical uplift of your own self, but you actually uplift the financial status of your entire family. And the satisfaction that it actually gives you when you yourself feel capable of being actually able to deliver the needs and the wishes of your near and dear ones. Nothing can actually match that happiness and contentment for you. So entrepreneurship is something that every woman really gets the satisfaction to the core. Another imperative point is legacy building. Imagine that you can actually hand over the reins of your hard work to your next generation. And your next generation does not have to go through the entire journey of the struggle that you are going through today. And they can actually carry on your business from where you hand it over to them. Let me share with you the story of two individuals. These two individuals started out on their career journey together. One started as a fresher in a MNC while the other started a small cafeteria outside of that MNC. The fresher with her commitment and sincere hard work went on to become a GM over a period of 10 years and she was a frequent visitor to the cafeteria. On the day of her promotion to becoming the GM, she was proud and quite happy. So when she went to visit the cafeteria on her celebration visit, she flamboyantly spoke to the cafeteria owner and said, Oh, I wish you had also started on a journey as a corporate leader like me. So you would too have been more successful today. To this, the cafeteria owner humbly replied, I wish you success in abundance in your future as well. But in my own way, I have grown over with zero employees to 10 employees today. And I may not be as successful on a level nine like you. And I may be just at a level five today. But I have the satisfaction that my daughter will be able to inherit from where I leave my legacy for her today and she will not have to go through the same grinding as I have gone through. Whereas I see that your daughter will have to go through the struggles like you have gone through all over again and she will not be able to take any advantage from your successes. So the moral of this story goes as that in a job, however successful we may get, that is our individual success. And our children cannot 
take any advantage of our success in terms of our legacy while in terms of the daughter of the entrepreneur she gets like a relay she gets the platform ready by her parents and they can take on that legacy from there on and build on that platform that is the journey of an entrepreneur yes i agree the first few initial years can be taxing and you have to live the first few years of your journey maybe even in a larger struggle but ultimately with your hard work the time will come when you can actually bear the fruits of your hard work and the fifth point that goes as a deep motivation for any woman to become an entrepreneur is the economic development of the country how we can actually contribute to the economic development of our country the contribution of women in entrepreneurship and the gdp of any country is rather underrated just imagine the percentage of women that we are in the entire society and a large percentage is not contributing to the gdp if only even a smaller fragment was to start contributing imagine the growth that country can attain so we have to realize the potential of getting together and actually being able to contribute to our economy so lucrative and of course it seems to be doing your own business and getting into entrepreneurship but i would fairly want to discuss with you the major challenges that also would come our way while taking up entrepreneurship it's very important to understand these challenges before taking on this plunge the first challenge being of course a lot of women are very talented but unfortunately our schools don't teach us entrepreneurship so even after having all the talent we are groomed only to take up jobs and our entire social education system is actually designed to make us glorified babus or slaves so it is important that we understand how to break these norms and take up the skills of entrepreneurship if we actually have to succeed the next challenge is job mindset job versus entrepreneurship simply stated in a job we have a high sense of financial security while in entrepreneurship there is a high sense of freedom but along with freedom comes a sense of responsibility and managing yourself along with your time being more disciplined because if you are not somebody who has a high sense of responsibility for your own time and well being it is going to be difficult because entrepreneurship does come with its own set of challenges you have to have a strong will power and a strong sense of belief in your own idea to be able to succeed in entrepreneurship else it is going to make it more difficult for you to tide through the initial journey of entrepreneurship so you have to come mentally prepared to actually go through and tide through that initial journey another major challenge that women face while starting their entrepreneurship is limited access to finance now here is something that while you are starting your own business you have to figure out certain ways of arranging finance for yourself there are certain institutions which are largely supporting the women in their businesses today so explore a whole lot of ideas but don't give up on your one idea then to top it all we have our own personal fears and resistances fear of criticism fear of failure my mentor often told me that fears are illusionary and temporary so don't give so much of importance to fears and if you have such a large imagination why imagine fears imagine success and along with overcoming our fears we need a strong sense of inspiration certainly a sense of inspiration that is larger than just a fair share of money a sense of inspiration may be that is spending more time with your children or maybe planning a vacation a family vacation that you've been always looking forward to so when you keep a focused inspiration in front of you that surely keeps motivating you to move forward and work harder towards your goals and then is a skewed social system we don't have to really worry about who is going to say what because logo ka kaam hai kehna kuch to log kahenge and often a strong women a strong independent women is taken as more liberal 
Now that really depends on you, how you conduct yourself. Believe in yourself, believe in your ideas and go on with entrepreneurship. The idea of sharing all these challenges with you is not to actually scare you away from entrepreneurship, but to make you more mentally prepared on this journey and to come out stronger and winning. So I will move forward to discuss with you the wonder ways to actually smoothen this journey for you. Now, when we work alone in the journey of entrepreneurship, as we have discussed that this is not actually taught to us in our schools, we have probably gained talent as a designer, as a cook or as any other aspiration that we have in our life, but we don't know the basic nuances of business. So in today's times, there are many mentors and coaches who can actually guide you from the convenience and the comfort of your own house that you can learn online the basic nuances of business. So you should really handhold yourself with a mentor or a coach and continuously upscale yourself with the potential of your own business and the other collaborative efforts that can help you on this journey. So these are two very, very important things that is upscaling yourself in your own field as well as learning the nuances of the business. If you like this video and if you're a woman who wants to progress on her entrepreneurial journey, subscribe to my channel and join my private Facebook group from the description link below to be updated on more valuable information for systematic sales growth in your business and to get money rich, time rich and intellect rich. Thank you.